Yeah, you just want to tell me a little bit about what's going on? Yeah, so like we, um, we've been running campaigns basically, well, we've been running for quite a while, like, like since probably going back seven, eight months, uh, probably long, probably past 12 months on Facebook. Um, over the, like the past um, sort of June, July have been sort of going quite well, we, we felt. Um, and then we were really looking probably to try and scale like coming into August. Um, but I think maybe we've tampered with things a bit too much and, uh, you know, maybe thrown things a bit, a bit, for, a bit, a bit off where we, uh, where we feel we should be. So like, I guess, and over the past few days, we've been kind of looking back through things and, um, you know, we've come across like some audiences and some ad sets that were quite high performing, but for whatever reason, we decided they weren't performing well enough and sort of turned them off and things like that. But um, I guess what we're really looking for is like hard, like I, th I don't think we've ever really had the structure maybe set up correctly and, um, uh, and, and, and maybe we've not given things, we've, we've sort of reacted too quickly and changed things or whatnot, you know, but um, yeah, really just trying to look a bit, of, a bit of guidance about getting things set back up and getting back on track, really. Okay, got it. All right, so I mean like y'all's ROAS is really low though. Yeah, like the seats. It, it's it's really low, yeah. It's it's dropped off, uh, dropped off a cliff. It used to be high, a lot higher, like maybe near three. Mm -hmm. And now it's like one point two on average. Probably, yeah. Okay, so yeah, what all items do y'all sell? So with um. Um, it's basically like um, we've, we've it's a razor, um, so the razor blades uh, and a blade bank, and then we've just recently launched uh, like just a shaving cream and a, and a sort of pre shave scrub kind of thing. Okay, we made like all the ads are really focused towards selling the razor. Um, Which you know, has that, sold really well, if I, yeah. 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 I like it. It's, I mean, it has an Instagram feel to it. It looks like it could sell really well. It obviously gets a lot of purchases. That's a good thing. Problem yeah. is, is you'll need to get them to buy these other things included with it. So, I mean, we should yeah. upsell, we should have these other items included in upselling, but we got to make it more distinctive whenever they do it. Yeah. Uh, that flow needs to be a little bit improved. Um, we, we have plans to improve that. Like it's it's are kind of in progress at the minute, um, which will which includes uh, includes these at the sort of second stage. It's just sort of getting the developer to <laughs> to get moving with that. I yeah. suppose you need the end card upsells and all that stuff. Um, yeah, you even need upsells here included. I saw that it added two items. Um, But I mean, obviously that's you, yeah, with, this would be a better number to get around to, right? Yeah, yeah, for so sure. I get these involved with the upsells. All yeah. right, yeah, let's look at the ads. Let's go through here because the ad actually looks good, but y'all, let's see here. Yeah, so we'd, we had, we'd had been using, um, we'd, like we'd sort of recently started using Dynamic Creative and not like, but we had been using that before and it was performing with, within Dynamic Creative, but um, we weren't sure whether that was something maybe that we should be using or not using. Um, we, we definitely like noticed that even looking back through, like we like taking a longer look back through June and through, uh, and through um, July, like there were some standout like performers in terms of creative um, that um, that that we, we maybe aren't using any anymore. You know that maybe we should be using. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Well, let's look at some of these others. So this is a TikTok. Yeah. But this is dynamic though, because I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get away from the dynamic. And. All right, so what we need to do is we need to take all those creatives you have, split them out, make them stacked, like uh, social proof, like where they're not dynamic, right? Where we have like five ads next to each other that are different, right? Using those videos. And then those TikTok ones, we need to go to, let's just type this in. We need to download those TikTok videos without the watermark because you're getting less placements with the watermark. 
Okay. Um, and then we'll have those five independent ads. And then we just need to launch a lot more interest into testing. And we need to then change your attribution setting to seven day click or one day view. And then you add the upsells to your site. And we also need to, let me pull this open on this end. Um, then we need to do this as well. Let's scroll down. I have a link to it on my end. Let me okay, cool. Here. All right, is this something we need to set up? Is it? No, this is a strategy y'all are going to implement. So click okay. on that link here in the chat. Uh, oh. Perfect. All right, so this is creator. See how this is like already around y'all's type of audience? Um, oh, see yeah. how it says paid partnership with? Yeah. That's important. We need to start doing that. Um, okay. So that way, I, because y'all had those TikTok right so yeah. those people who made that tiktok yeah you can have them post it to instagram and you can take the id and run the ad and it'll say their page but it'll say partnership with you know okay see what i'm saying yeah so this is y'all's exact audience is it not yeah, yeah exactly like so, I mean, this, is, <laughs> this is the new thing y'all um 92% act in the moment of seeing it, all right? So like literally we're talking like high conversion rates here. Yeah. More trust because you don't have to worry about it being just y'all's brand. Now we're using their brand, which is the creator economy. Um, it's huge. And they can just purchase and it gets attributed to our ads. Yeah, you can literally run the ads in your ad account. Cool. See, yep, it just, so, and so, and so for instance, right here, like, let's look at this ad real fast. Instead of it saying your profile right here, instead of it being your yeah. profile, it would just say their profile name. Okay. Except it was, and then underneath it would say pay partnership with, you know, yeah. lane 44. Got it? Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's going to be something huge for y'all. This. Yeah are the steps that you got to bring up to them. So here's how to set it up and add partner approval. So this is the stuff they're going to need to do. So you yeah. have to send them these directions on how they can approve it for you. And then these are the directions for you on how you get access to it. Gotcha. Um, that, that, that's, that's literally like, I didn't, I didn't even know that existed. Like, but that's part, like literally right up our street, I think. Yeah. Perfect. Well, that's why we do this stuff. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Cool. Then the seven day clicked up, seven day or one day view. And then anything to US? We're not doing US? Not not at the minute. Like we, ha we, we haven't. Like we, we, or I guess we're, we're, we've only launched like about probably 12 months or so. Like so we were focused a lot on just trying to really figure out how to sell in the UK, you know, but um, certainly in the US in the future is an option. Yeah. Okay. We're, let's look here retargeting real fast. We need to be retargeting video viewers. There's so many retargeting audiences we're missing out here. Um, I think I have. I think I have video viewers in like a middle of funnel. Um, we only need to exclude like, purchases. That's all. Um, only exclude purchases. Yeah, and then you need to split the audiences into like more single-based audiences rather than having so many things stacked right now. Okay. Um, unless the audience size isn't big enough because of y'all's location, so it's in that yeah. case it might be fine. But like, okay. for instance, we need to retarget video views. We need to do shopping here. Um, let's see here, Instagram account. And then see how it says people who viewed products, all these yeah. different things, viewed shop page. So for instance, let's see if y'all qualify for this. This is also really important. There we are, commerce manager. All right, you're approved for this. So you'll need to set this up and publish it. Um, 
y'all should see this line go from here up to here. Okay. Yeah. This is okay. the next, this is where all the things are really happening these days with y'all's yeah. audience specifically. I'm assuming it's yeah. the 18 to you know 35 range on Instagram. Yeah. That is this entire group. It looks like it's falling off. So y'all gotta re relight this thing. Um yeah. This is the tagged content. Y'all gotta be posting that tagged content more often. Like those TikToks, y'all use SnapTick to download it. You upload yeah. it to your Instagram reels. You following? And yeah. then you tag the product, right? Yeah, you know, it's gonna get you all way more views. Um and this is gonna allow you to retarget all these individuals because they're gonna push it organically and get you discovered more. And then on the paid side, this tag content where you have those, you know, individual influencers or whenever you're running ads on top of the paid tagged products, it'll show up here. Okay, tagged content. Um just touching on the um, Instagram like falling off and dying a death there basically like as soon as we turned on dynamic creative I think Instagram started like not being prioritized by Facebook uh -huh. um does that happen in dynamic creative it's we yeah it's just a weird thing um you're gonna they're gonna pull you off because of that TikTok primarily that logo um okay. once we remove that and then once we have individual ads rather than using dynamic we'll have like the for instance, we'll have that vertical video, right? Yeah. Um, that's going to get pushed to reels and that's going to be a game changer. Okay. That's going to give you a huge reach and left and results big time. Awesome. Well, that's, that's, that's so good. Look, it, it's, it um, definitely seems to be making sense why the, why the performance was dropped off. You know, it's like a spec that we've been putting more of that. The dynamic just is. The dynamic of... and the TikTok mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, like blue to TikTok. Um, what about campaign budget optimization? So let's look at that. Um, it's not really necessary right now. Um, I would honestly just be having a lot of interest. Okay. And just fire as many interests as we and want just, into one campaign. Yeah, and just well, how you all have the CBO set up is actually fine because you have three audiences. That's very normal. That's yeah. okay. But when you're going to, you're going to launch testing with five different ads and all these individual interests, like one audience per each. Um, and it's going to be a lot of audiences. So you'll want it to be on the ad set level so you can adjust the budget. Okay. Okay. You'll launch like 10 audiences. And if we were to start testing new audiences, would we just put that new audience into the existing campaign and, or yes. not? We don't need yeah, to have like, a testing campaign or anything. Right. Yeah, you can do the same campaign. Just make sure the CBO is turned off. Okay. Yeah. And then we need to go after like more influencer type pages here as well. Yeah. Um, we've kind of been those. scared of interest. Like we've been scared of audience building recently, so we've yeah. stopped testing things. <laughs> It almost like we were we were doing really well, and then we started trying to test things, and it almost felt like the testing was knocking the performance, but it There's might not have been the case. Yeah, yeah. So you want to get rid of the things that don't work pretty soon because you'll probably have a very high click through rate, which can you know adjust those yeah. algorithm targeting, right? Yeah. So, yeah, those are all the big changes. I mean, that's definitely going to make a wild difference in y'all's results. The rest yeah. of this, I would honestly say, has got to be site related. Um, yeah. Is there any competitor that's really close to y'all? Not, not, not really in the, in the UK. Look, like, there's probably more in the US. Um, there's, there is a few people that sell these, but like, I think the big difference with us is we're targeting females. Um, you know, so um, yeah, like that, that's, I guess, um, yeah, there's, there's no one really like 100% focused on selling uh, like plastic free razors to women. Yeah. So, I mean, that's going to be huge for y'all. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, yeah, that's, it's just like, it's, it's just some of these things that you're sort of pointing out. Like, um, yeah, this seems so obvious. Like, we just didn't quite, couldn't quite figure out what was going wrong, you know? Um, oh, I had something that I had to ask. I can't remember. Oh, yeah sorry um so say you trying like i don't think the ad sets that we have up at the minute are going to be the ones that we're going to continue working with now mm -hmm. going forward um 
we want to get back to about or at least try and get back to five good ad sets that we had maybe like two months ago would you just turn that campaign back on or would you like duplicate it out and start it from scratch yes yeah you just start a start one from scratch start it from scratch yeah Yeah, in, ter- in terms of in terms of um, like building um, building those audiences or building new audiences, like um, um, like specifically, I guess interest groups. Would you like stack interest, or would you test individual interests, or what? What way was is the best way to work that? Yeah, so individual interest is going to be fine for you to do. Um, here's another thing can we pull open y'all's instagram here's a way for y'all to be super unique and not have to worry about this audience targeting stuff because there's a way for y'all to build audiences that are y'all's page needs to have a lot more um going on yeah all right so yes we we need these videos right who are these individuals here uh, so they're like, well, that's yeah, one, one's one's my son. <laughs> nice. One's, uh, one's, uh, yeah, we've got we roped them into packing a few. There we go. Now. There we go. Um, one's early. like a one's a TikToker, and then one's yeah, just a, another girl. Okay, are these like paid or like the one in the middle would be? Yeah. Okay, and then this one's just center some items. So what I would do is I'd start a Google Sheets and start going after like. It doesn't even matter if the person on TikTok has a hundred followers, all right? Yeah. As long as they fit the demographic and have some knowledge of creating content, yeah, offer yeah. the items to them for free, ship them to them, and like yeah. send it to like 50 of them, all of them post it. You take all that content, you place it on reels. One of them's gonna get like a couple hundred thousand views, some of them's gonna get ten thousand. You're literally going to be yeah. able to retarget those audiences off of reels. And nobody else can target them, right? And right. you're going to get all that organic reach. Change this link to your website. I don't know what y'all would. I mean, what does this go to? Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Just go to just go to y'all's site. Just go straight to it. Yeah, okay. these aren't favorable. Um, okay. And then the audience targeting for a reel is that basically just going to anyone that's interacted with your Instagram account. For which for which one? So say if we were trying to remarket to anyone that liked a reel, um, would we just go into like select video in the views. ad set level? Yeah. Oh, video, video views. Video okay, views yeah. and then choose Instagram and then you select all the reels and then you just do viewed like minimum three seconds. Right. Okay. okay. Because these things are quick. So. Yeah. Yeah. That way. And then make sure the reels are going to y'all's public page too. These don't have enough engagements at all. We got to boost this up. Yeah, yeah. These reels are going to be the thing that do it. Let's see. Hold on. Let's switch. let's look at the reel one more time. Just at the thing. All right. See, see these engagements. That's different. Yeah. I don't know how that pulled up, but um, yeah, got you. So that needs to be happening there on y'all's post. Y'all should just be loading up the reels content for sure. Got gotcha. you. Um. No, that, that's awesome. We actually do have a few more um, TikTok videos that we can just fire up there like straight away. Like probably quite a lot of TikTok. I mean, the fire. thing does really well on TikTok. Like really, it went viral on TikTok. So it should really be on Instagram. I know, it? yeah. Or paid channel. Use that Snap Tech thing as well. Can we pull open y'all's TikTok? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not even sure it's logged in there. But that's just going to go to Brooke's page, isn't it? TikTok again. I don't know if we can get it like. Yeah, here we go. That's awesome. Like the stuff that we posted rubbish. Isn't good, but it's the other the other stuff. Okay, so migrate all of this via that snap tick to reels. Um yeah. migrate all of it, yes. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Without That's a great. doubt. Use you can go like hashtag run this in the net, have all these in different ads, yeah. Okay. Okay. Go to the hashtag lane. If I go to hashtag lane 44 at the top here, so I'm messing your messing it up here. How do you do that then? There. Go videos. No, I think you need Here's to Here's how you do it. I can, here, I can show you a reference. I can do it. Sorry, I'm rubbish. Like. <laughs> Here's how I figured out a hack. You just click this tag and then it pulls it up here and then you just 
All uh, right, yeah, uh, smart. That's just lane 44, I think. Okay. And then we'll just hit enter. There should be like a few, it's a work with quite a few different influencers there that have. Um, so you need to download all this content, put it on your Reels ASAP. Yeah, right. This that is all fantastic. That. Yeah. That's awesome, right? And make sure it publishes to, yeah. to the page and then have them publish it on their Instagram. And But before they do, have them follow. You got to read these steps here where it talks about how they need to do it. I think it's above. You all have to go through this, but yeah. the creators here, they'll have to approve the request. Before they publish, there's literally going to be a button that'll say like allow, ad, allow post to be ran an ad. Okay, no, that that's that makes that's that's actually yeah, that's possible. To, that's easy to do. Isn't it? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I think that's everything. I just wanted to know about structure. I think that's all covered. Like with with in terms of the structure, the actual um, ads themselves, like um, whenever we go to so would you would you how, like how would you sort sort of set up from a campaign uh, perspective? Like, would you have it set up as a like non CEO interest only in the campaign together, yeah. interest only together. Then on the ad level, and then on the ad set level, you would have like your five ads that you have in there, however many ads you make, but they're not going to be dynamic, they'll just be separate. And okay, yeah, so that's essentially what an interest only campaign and, and look, and would you run a lookalike campaign and then just a retargeting thing? Is that I would take the lookalike from the video views you get on Reels because those videos are pretty. Pretty good. Yeah. Those will like. work really nice. I mean, we have people who literally have custom audiences of like a million size because the reels just get so many views. Which is like pretty much as big as an interest in some of these countries. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, and, do they, and do you find that they're the, the sort of best performing kind of categories? For, like, for y'all's for audience, it's going to be like yeah. just rainmaker in terms of money. Yeah. Yeah, that's huge. I didn't even think of. Yeah, that's so good. Like, like <laughs> it seems. Uh, yeah, it seems. It just seems too obvious now. Like, <laughs> that's where it's worthwhile. Look, like, but um, no, that's cool. Look, like, like, I don't think. I, I think um, probably just remembering all this stuff is going to be the the challenge now. <laughs> yeah, I'll forward this recording to y'all. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Those aren't going to cut it. So here's you know. See how like the it's linked, right? Oops. But this is okay. also an Instagram audience, right? Yes. Here's the reels of the influencers and stuff. I wouldn't even consider them influencers. I'd just say like, you know, anybody Content who can creators. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. So if we like if we say, for example, had um if, if an influencer it, you know connects with us through that creator thing and they post that to their page will that come up on our page or we post that on our page so you're going to manage it through here you're going to manage Got oops, sorry this right here collaborative ads is going to how you're going to be able to connect it to your um campaign you can literally see the row ads how many sales are coming from their pages gotcha you awesome. can also prospect through here so like if we go to discover like we could prospect for individuals. So um, right. like for content creators. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so, cool. And they even cool. some of them even have their rates in there. And then some will say, I'll just accept products for free. So okay. crazy. Great. I need to get on that. Um, I'm be busy. Yes. You've, you've given us a lot of work to do, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> a huge overall. Yeah. That's, a, that's what we wanted. Like that's that's literally. Great. Yeah, you'll have something great on your hands. I mean, it's really come together. I think once you'll have all those pieces in place, I mean, you're really going to see some massive growth. Yeah, that, that hope, hopefully, like that's like we like we can't we've we've seen we've gone through periods where we've seen um like the performance of the ads go really well and then dip, and we just struggled with consistency. Um, but I think a lot of what we've talked about, um, you know, we haven't even touched any of that yet. So, you know, there's a lot there. Yeah, I think I think so. Like, um, and then also, like, as you, I think you, you touched on the on-site stuff as well. Like, um, like I def we definitely need to sort of take, take that up a level as well, you know. But I think um, 
we're hoping um, that over the next week to two weeks that that will completely change again, you know. Uh -huh. Here, I just sent you all a link. This is from the creator's perspective because this is going to be a better spot to um, access this. See if that link made it through the chat. So you can apply as an advertiser, see that? Yeah, so we could like test it like kind of thing and go through You're, the process. Yeah, you can submit and then you can see how the dashboard looks. So everybody here obviously is gonna have gone through this before, but for instance, to save on cost in most cases, you can just I already pulled up the steps on how they can do it. So if y'all send free product, you can just show people how to like give you access. Okay. But here, these are gonna be individuals that you could find that pretty much already know the routine and are gonna be pretty quick to get it all done. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. So can any anyone can sign up for that? So I could go to someone that's you know pretty like like pretty competent at making videos or something and, and and get them to do it, even if they aren't like some Facebook approved influencer or anything like that. Yeah, you can get anybody if you want. It doesn't have so, to be through this. No, I good luck. Yeah, no, that, that that's brilliant. Yeah, super awesome. No, I think I think that's I think that's everything, Chase, that, that we've got anyway. Look, I think you've managed to squeeze a lot into half an hour there. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Well keep me posted on how things go. I'm excited. I really like what y'all have going here. We'll do. Yeah. Look, we we I think um if you're up for it, like we'll probably book in again at some point uh over the next few weeks and when we've made a bit of a difference, I suppose, and just check in with you, I suppose, and see any more tips from there. Yeah, for sure. I'd love to do that. And, and see progress and also talk about, you know, additional steps on site, TikTok, yeah. how we can get these platforms working together, obviously, you know, further develop strategy and whatnot. Awesome. No, that, that, that's great. It's just no really appreciate your time. Awesome. Well, thank you, y'all. Thank Cheers. you. Good evening. You as Cheers. well. Bye. Bye.